Hey everyone, this is Kate Fashney. This is a quick tutorial on how to build this interactive bar chart using some sample superstore data, portraying sales by state over time. Here are all the little samples. Um, the one I selected was this bar chart race. So you basically click on that and they already have some data in there. What you need to do next is click on data to take a look at how the data is structured. So you see we've got country, region, images, and then the time going across. The next step is to go ahead and take the data. We have sample superstore data set right here in the orders tab. What I did here was I created a pivot table of the data to make sure that the, the data is basically going across over here by months. And then I copy pasted this pivot table into another sheet because I needed to remove the first few rows. Now, one thing to note about using Flourish is the data has to match exactly in, in meaning the, the types of columns have to match exactly to the columns that they have here. So when I'm going to go ahead and click upload data and go to my desktop, I selected moving bars because that's the new sheet and you import this publicly. Next, it says select the column. So you're going to click OK. The label we have here is A and then the values are they selected D through Z, but R actually starts at B. So I'm going to go ahead and click B. So we can go ahead and do that. And then we'll scroll down and see, okay, we don't have categories, so we can delete any column that we're not really using. And you'll see on the bottom how things are changing as we make these updates. And uh, we'll leave everything else the same. We can go ahead and click preview. Uh, one thing I notice here is that we have the grand total. So what we'll have to do is basically scroll down to the grand total and go ahead and click delete. And now we don't have the grand total. You can actually remove states if you needed to. The other part I really thought was cool is the bar colors. You can actually customize them by bar or you can have a single uh, color and then you can choose them. If we're doing this by bar, we can actually change the color palette. So you can, you can pick some pastel color, like this is an example. You can look into labels. There are a lot of ways to customize the layout, the header, the footer. But at this point, um, I'm pretty much done and you can publish this. You can save this down as an image. The way I put together that video is I simply recorded the screen using Camtasia. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and feel free to go to dedicatedacademy.com to check out more things around data visualization. I've got a really cool visual best practices course there that's actually product agnostic. So feel free to go ahead and check that out. Thanks for listening.